With each enamoring picture caught by the James Webb Space Telescope, it keeps on getting consideration from different corners of the universe, including planets within our own planetary system. A year prior, we wondered about our initial brief look at pictures displaying the Carina Cloud Stephens Quintet and strikingly the entrancing deep field picture. This specific picture seemingly depicts various worlds extending into the tremendous region of the universe, living up to the expectation produced. The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't stopped to stun. It has recently uncovered objects that challenge established cosmological ideas. These perplexing discoveries are now marked as universe breakers by cosmologists, confusing the scientific community with their capacity to go against existing thoughts. The reasons behind these discoveries remain shrouded in mystery, tossing our forecasts and speculations into confusion. So, what's the latest scoop from the James Webb Telescope? What great, notable data has it uncovered that was previously unknown to us? Join us as we dive into the disclosures of how the James Webb Telescope has introduced evidence suggesting the presence of another universe, testing the regular comprehension of the Big Bang. Our universe, as we have long appreciated, rose up out of a hotter, denser, and more uniform state beyond an idea known as the Hot Big Bang. This hypothesis, a significant scientific achievement over the course of the last century, found stunning approval during the 1960s with the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, a leftover from the early hot and thick state. Over the years, the Big Bang has remained as the prevailing theory explaining our cosmic beginnings. However, New and critical observations have driven cosmologists and astrophysicists to consistently question both infinite expansion and the Big Bang itself. Regardless of these challenges, alternative hypotheses have failed to gain momentum, accentuating the enduring nature of the Big Bang theory. According to the prevailing viewpoint, the description of the universe's origin involves a smaller, denser universe in the far-off past. The presence of radiation, like photons, shows that the universe was hotter at its origin and has since cooled. Extrapolating backward in time, the density, temperature, and energy levels reach a point where a singularity could form and the regular laws of physics break down. At around 10 to the power of negative 43 seconds, during the Planck time, tiny distances, brief terms, and high-energy scales defy our comprehension. Rewinding the cosmic clock to the hypothetical zero at the start, a complex historical process would be expected. If the universe began as hot and dense, then expanded and cooled, vast amounts of particles and antiparticles would have been created, with surplus particles annihilated by radiation as temperatures decreased. The breakdown of the electroweak and Higgs balances leads to the four key forces and particles with non-zero masses. As the universe cools further, protons and neutrons form composite particles called quarks and gluons. The combination of protons and neutrons results in the formation of light nuclei, such as deuterium, helium-3, helium-4, and lithium-7. Overdense regions experience development due to radiation pressure, followed by gravitational collapse, leading to the formation of large-scale structures. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe cools sufficiently for stable neutral atoms to form marking a critical step where photons scatter with frequencies increasing as the universe expands. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background over 50 years ago solidified the theory of the primordial cosmic explosion as the most supported explanation for the universe's creation. While most astronomers and astrophysicists embraced the Big Bang, ardent advocates of the steady-state theory, like Fred Hoyle, continued to defend increasingly improbable claims, only to face defeat in the face of overwhelming evidence. The evidence presented was unequivocal. It wasn't fading starlight, nor was it reflected or emitted heat from dust. Each possible explanation fell short. The astronomical phosphorescence range showed a surprising consistency in all directions, resembling a perfect black body. Yet it had no connection with known objects in the universe. Nonetheless, Hoyle and his followers persisted in blocking scientific progress by supporting experimentally indefensible options. Even as the scientific community moved toward the Big Bang as the consensus, the doubters lost ground, their flawed efforts fading into obscurity. In the meantime, the fields of space science and astronomy experienced extraordinary growth from the 1960s through the 2000s, with cosmology seeing especially remarkable expansion. During this period, we mapped out the vast cosmos and described the universe's structure on a grand scale. 
We dug into the formation, evolution, and dynamic interaction of galaxies and their stellar populations. However, despite these advances, we encountered anomalies that resisted explanation within the framework of the Big Bang theory. Observations uncovered disparities that challenged the predictive power of the Big Bang hypothesis, most notably the absence of exotic relics predicted by the theory, such as magnetic monopoles or particles from grand unification. The universe we see today appears to require forces beyond our current understanding, yet these remain elusive. At its initiation, the universe required a precise expansion rate to balance the total energy density, an accomplishment that the Big Bang hypothesis struggles to justify. Achieving firm balance or sufficient time for energy exchange across different regions of space presents further challenges. Given the vastness of the universe and its evolution over time, these anomalies pose significant challenges for cosmology and the academic community at large. When theories fail to account for observed anomalies, two approaches emerge. Either refine existing theories or consider alternative explanations. The theory of inflation arose as the most promising theoretical framework for extending the Big Bang worldview. Inflation proposes a starting point of rapid expansion, smoothing the universe and endowing it with uniform properties. It solves the horizon problem and predicts the development of quantum fluctuations, which manifest as density and temperature variations. Notably, inflation's predictions align with observed patterns and variations, reinforcing its validity. While alternatives exist, inflation's scientific power remains unparalleled. Despite previous contributions to general relativity and singularities, Roger Penrose's work, including his collaboration with Stephen Hawking, failed to match the success of inflation in explaining the universe's earliest moments. Recently, there has been deliberate work to undermine the credibility of inflation theory, instead advocating for conformal cyclic cosmology, which is inherently flawed from a scientific perspective. The key distinction lies in their predictions. Conformal cyclic cosmology posits that remnants from a universe preceding the Big Bang are embedded in the cosmic microwave background and the large-scale structure of the universe. In contrast, inflation theory maintains that the point where inflation ends and a hot Big Bang begins should be causally detached from any pre-Big Bang region. Each aspect of our universe displays unique characteristics, suggesting that we should rely on the universe itself to reveal what is true as opposed to simply relying on hypotheses. In spite of initial surprise, astronomers quickly identified irregularities in the images sent by the James Webb Space Telescope. Since 2022, these discoveries may require a reassessment of crucial aspects of the universe's beginnings and evolution. One significant discovery made by the Webb Telescope was the presence of fully formed galaxies much earlier than predicted by the standard model of cosmology. This inconsistency challenges the established sequence of events post-Big Bang, where stars and black holes form first, followed by the development of galaxies. Such discoveries upset our understanding, akin to encountering grandparents depicted as children in a story. Furthermore, recent evidence has revealed inconsistencies within science's main theories about the universe, such as the ongoing disparity in determining the Hubble constant which persists despite improvements in data accuracy and collection methods. Additionally, new data from the Webb Telescope compounds existing challenges to the current cosmological model. These issues highlight flaws within the model itself, prompting doubts among astronomers and physicists. While the model has undergone modifications over the past 50 years to align with emerging data, some argue that these changes have been too convenient. Consequently, there is growing recognition that a paradigm shift may be necessary, potentially reshaping our understanding of the universe's fundamental properties. The standard model of cosmology, hailed as a triumph of human insight, arose from Edwin Hubble's groundbreaking discovery of the expanding universe in the 1920s. Subsequent discoveries, like the cosmic microwave background radiation in 1964, confirmed the theory of the universe's origin, describing the early universe as a hot, dense soup of subatomic particles gradually cooling over time. However, achieving the current level of accuracy in cosmological understanding has required theoretical extrapolation beyond observational data. Cosmic inflation, proposed in 1981, was introduced to resolve irregularities in earlier Big Bang models, further highlighting the dynamic nature of cosmological theory. According to this hypothesis, 
the early universe underwent rapid, extraordinary expansion for a brief period following the Big Bang. While some issues are resolved by this idea, new challenges arise, particularly in light of the prevailing belief in the existence of one universe, as well as potentially countless others beyond our observational reach. Certain noticeable anomalies, such as hybrid singularities within black holes, find support through indirect evidence. However, the problematic discoveries of the Webb Space Telescope regarding the formation of galaxies and the ongoing issue with the Hubble constant raise concerns that we may be approaching a tipping point where a major overhaul of our current cosmological model becomes essential. This could necessitate a re-evaluation of the foundational building blocks of the universe, including the nature of existence itself. Cosmology, unlike many other scientific fields, deals with overarching questions about the universe, its beginnings, and the role of observers within it. The study of consciousness and quantum physics addresses nearly identical topics, diving into the intersection of theory and science, grappling with foundational assumptions that support our understanding. Testing assumptions, such as the constancy of scientific laws over time, has been proposed by thinkers like Roberto Mangabira Unger and physicist Lee Smolin, who suggest that physical laws may evolve and change over time, challenging conventional wisdom. Physicist John Wheeler even proposes that every observation can influence the universe's past and future, profoundly reconsidering scientific practices. Scrutinizing these key assumptions is a critical leap given the impact of theoretical assumptions on data collection. History has shown that upheavals in scientific thought, such as heliocentrism, evolution, and relativity, have led to significant shifts in societal perspectives. A similar influence on our awareness may be expected from any forthcoming scientific revolution in cosmology. Philosopher Robert Cree contends that theory becomes essential when further scientific inquiry fails to provide satisfactory answers to a scientific question. The ongoing debate centers around whether theory is required to address the cosmological fundamentals. If adjusting existing models proves insufficient, a complete redesign of our understanding of the universe may become necessary, accompanied by new narratives to convey these paradigm shifts. The advances in observational technology have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its cutting-edge instruments, allows astronomers to peer further back in time than ever before, capturing light from the early universe that has traveled billions of years to reach us. This capability has transformed our perception of cosmic history, revealing patterns and anomalies that challenge long-held beliefs. One of the most significant implications of Webb's discoveries is the potential for reconsidering the timeline of cosmic evolution. For instance, the discovery of mature galaxies just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang raises questions about the speed and nature of galaxy formation. This observation suggests that the processes governing star and galaxy development may have been more complex and efficient than previously understood. The implications of this challenge assumptions about the ongoing evolution of cosmic structures and suggest that large-scale star formation could have occurred much earlier than current models predict. Additionally, the detection of surprising patterns in the cosmic microwave background radiation, combined with data from the Webb telescope, indicates that our universe may be more homogeneous and isotropic than the Big Bang model can fully explain. This has sparked discussions about the possibility of a multiverse, where our universe is merely one of many, each with its own distinct properties. Such a paradigm would not only redefine our understanding of physical laws, but also reclassify the boundaries of scientific inquiry, as we may not be able to observe other universes directly. As astronomers continue to analyze the data from Webb, the potential for discovering exoplanets in habitable zones around distant stars has reignited interest in astrobiology. The analysis of atmospheres from these exoplanets could yield insights into the chemical signatures of life beyond Earth. Researchers are particularly interested in identifying biomarkers, substances that could indicate the presence of biological processes. This search could ultimately lead to profound philosophical questions regarding our place in the universe and whether we are alone in the vastness of space. Moreover, recent discoveries from Webb have prompted a reevaluation of dark matter and dark energy, two of the most mysterious components of our universe. The discrepancies observed in galaxy rotation curves and the distribution of cosmic structures may suggest new interactions or particles that differ from existing theoretical models.